Hey guys and welcome to another video by Astro Music and Tutorials. This week we're going to show you how we made our song Fairy Lights, which we uploaded last week. If you haven't heard it, please check it out before you watch this video to get a better understanding of it. While you're there, please check out our other videos and like and subscribe if you like our content. It will help us out a lot. So now let's get into the video on how we made Fairy Lights and show you how to make a chill hop song. So here's the bass piano melody that I made. And this is the high melody to go with the bass. Here's what they sound like together. I recorded each of them separately in two different channels so I can mix them separately. There's also a third piano part, which is a higher octave of the bass melody. As you can see, I panned those two melodies to opposite sides to give it more of a stereo feel. And the main melody plays right through them. The bass sample that I'm using is from the free Cymatics Eternity pack. They have a lot of organic sounding basses which are perfect for the kind of tracks I make. For the effects I EQ out the high end to give it a more warm sound. And then a fruity multiband compressor to boost the bass. And finally a fruity limiter for side chaining. For drum samples, I always rely on the free Cymatics Lo-Fi Stutter Pack, which has a great selection of samples. I usually always layer my snare to get a more unique sound. It's always a low filtered sound with a high unfiltered sound. And I pan them to opposite sides to fill up the mix. That beautiful sound you just heard is actually a preset from the stock plugin Harmer. I eked out the unnecessary highs and lows, added reverb to make it more spacey, and finally a compressor. This is a very important element which follows the same progression as the combined piano melody but on a higher spectrum. This element will be used later for a different section of the song, so keep that in mind.
Next is the counter melody, which is a combination of two plucks. Both of these sounds are from the stock plugin Citrus. As usual, I pan them to the opposite sides to fill up the mix. sound is from my current favorite stock plugin called Flex. After watching this tutorial, you should realize that you don't need expensive plugins to make a beat. Sometimes stock is enough. Remember to EQ out the high end, which can get a little intense and unsuitable for a lo-fi melody. Also add some reverb to make it more pleasant to the ear. Now remember this twinkle melody that I told you to keep in mind? This is why. The intro of this song is the exact same melody, just reversed and pitched down an octave. Mind blowing, I know. Now with that, let's hear the full song.